I think everybody would like to be remembered, you know, in one way or another, you know, leaving a mark, whatever that is, for better or for worse, you know. I suppose, for want of a better word, immortality. Good morning, gentlemen. The love is now opening up. Love and L, that's me. <laughs> How you feel that? Oh, I feel fine. I just left the family. And they told me to come on down here and try to make some money another day for them where they could live again. The word receptionist, I don't know. I think it has a lot to do with TV because every receptionist you ever see on TV is dumb, stupid, you know, witless. And because now that I am a receptionist, I think, you know, it's something special. And I don't think anybody should put it down. That's the big problem today. Working people, people who do any jobs, have no decision as to the kind of work they do or the or what effect their work has, you see. And that's tragic. I'm always, I'm always angry about something. God, I, I, I'm like my dad. My, well, he's no longer alive, but he was always, he'd always say everything was unjust with in Italian slang and then unjust. And there, to him, everything was unjust. I feel the same way. After you die, you know, you kind of hope something you did, you know, maybe. This came out because it said impact. It's important to leave an impact, is what you said. Yeah, of course it is. Otherwise, what's the point? I think the point is to delight in life. You got to live in it. Whether it's bad or good, the point is you try to make the best of it. Okay, well, what, else, so what else can you do? Here's a great experience. A stranger, Jesus Christ, I read that book for you. I'll never again talk to a telephone operator that same way I did before. I'll never treat a waitress the same way, look at a truck driver the same way. He says, you changed the way I think about these people. Well, that's pretty good. I like that. You know.